Welcome to Rubay. Normally we start the show at game day, but we've come down a few days earlier to catch up with this man because it's new beginnings down the lane, a stone throw from where you're from yep. in Fev. A Fev lad who played most of his career at Leeds playing for Cass. How did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um it's a bit of a whirlwind where, where I've been and you know to where I've ended up at Castleford, but um you know, I've I played on my junior rugby at Feverston Lions and then um, signed up Feverston Rovers, which you know was a club club to go to, the pinnacle club if you if you <laughs> play for Feverston Lions. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had a great season under Daryl, uh, funny enough, and then got picked up by you know Leeds Rhinos, you know the club that everyone looked up to. Yeah. Um, when, when I signed there, and you know, like you say, new beginnings and new adventures and new challenges ahead, and you know, Castleford were the right one for me, so I've ended up down the lane. Would you say you've been to a pretty dark place the last couple of years? Yeah, not not all the time. No, um, no, but up and down. Up and down, yeah. I've had I've had some moments where, you know, it's not probably gone right for me, and it's probably the same as every other player. You know, they have the setbacks, injuries, or whatever. Like what what you can get through the year, and sometimes I just not handled it as good or as well as other people. But um, I'm thankful for the things that I've actually been through because it's made me, you know, realise what how strong as a person I can be and, and what's my weakness and what's my strengths and I'm pretty uh, up to date with myself now so I know exactly what I'm good at, I know exactly when I'm you know, probably going to throw a little tantrum or when I'm going to be sad or so I'm, I'm pretty happy that you know some of the situations haven't been brilliant but to where I am today it's you know the best I've ever been so I'm pretty grateful for the things that I've been through to, to end up as where I am now. Mate, state of mind's a massive issue within rugby league and obviously we've seen Luke Ambler do a fantastic job with Andy's man club. Uh, I always um, look at players and you, you can kind of tell where, where their heads are if you know them pretty well. I've known you a long time now uh, since the very first rugby AM started in my garage and this is probably the most mature, grounded and generally relaxed. I think relaxed is a big, big word. I don't think I've ever seen you this relaxed and just calm and, and in, in a good place. Yeah, um, I just feel, personally, I don't think I've got anything to prove to anyone, but personally, I, I want to prove that to people. So if, if that makes sense, um, like I've not got a weight on my shoulders. Um, on the pitch, I've got a bit of a free reign. I've just got, right, Zach, you do what, you, what you're good at. And, you know, the players around me, it'll help me do that and, you know, help me develop my game. So. On that side, I've got. I'm just free and easy. Do you know what I mean? I'm. I'm really happy with myself. Turning up to train every day. I'm really happy. All the boys have been great. The, you know, the fans have been great to me already, which is is brilliant. And I'm just looking, really, really looking forward to this year. I'm full of optimism um, that the team can do well, and especially myself. I'm really backing myself this year, and I'm, I can't wait to, you know, get on that pitch on Friday night. The big things is expected from Cast this year. Um, you look at the squad, and it's plain to see there's some real talent there. Do you expect big things? What's your expectation of this squad and, and this club? Yeah, so, you know, before before I signed here, the coaches were a big influence. Um, and the players, the, the squad that they've actually got was a massive influence for me, a big draw. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm in this game to, to, to win trophies, to uh, to do special things. And I've been very fortunate to be in, in some great teams at Leeds Rhinos and win some grand finals and challenge cups and, um, you know, some personal accolades, which is absolutely brilliant. But... Um, I feel like at 25 now, I'm, like you said, I'm probably the maturest I've been, the most sensible I've been, where my head is, where my head is, is, is brilliant and I can just push on now for my career-wise, I think I can only get better and um, you know, with the, the, the squad I've got behind me, um, you know, some of the some of the players, you know, Luke Gale, Rangi Chase, former Man of Steel, um, some work hard, you've got Mike, Mike Meekin who's you know, just, just been picked up in the England selection, Greg Eden on the wing, you know, we've got some very special players and uh, if we can all, you know, group together um, and play as well as we've been training, it's going to be a really exciting year and I'm expecting, you know, something to happen for us this year, whether it's a top four, a Challenge Cup final, uh, grand final, something to happen. Hopefully we can get this town buzzing. Um, I know we've had a few promos around, uh, you know, Castleford area and all, all the fans have been saying oh, we're really looking forward to it, all the town's buzzing. Everyone's wearing the shirts, um, so it's fantastic to see. But it's it's up to us now to go on that pitch and you know prove to everyone that it's not just um, you know that we've, oh we've got a good squad, so it's going to happen for us. You know we've we've worked quite hard in, in pre season, so it's uh, it's going to be good on good here on Friday night. Mate, you got <coughs> things weren't working out at Leeds, they're well documented, and you got a move to Australia and you played for the Penrith Panthers. What did you learn 
on the pitch and what did you learn about yourself being over there? Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, you know, what what a great team it is over there and a great environment. I, I really enjoyed my time over there and um, yeah, I learned quite a lot. Um, how professional they were. Um, they were quite a young set of lads. I was like probably the sixth oldest, which is wow. uh, remarkable. And then, um, you know, they were a great group of lads, so they'd, they'd, they'd want to do stuff together outside of rugby. Uh, all, in, all enjoy each other's company. Liked a, a few beers and stuff like that, you know, they were really great together but then when it came to training or playing there was 210 percent it was absolutely brutal is it, um, is it tough for training over there it it can be yeah um within longer days the days were quite long um injured everything you had to do with you know it was defensive as well as attacking whereas as well as wrestling whereas your gym session every day uh, obviously you get a day off of the week but um you know over in england you might get you know, you might do a bit of wrestling on the Monday and then that's probably it until game day, whereas over there it's relentless. And yeah, it's, 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 a phys it's physical over there. Um, and, the uh, you know, I, I learned about, you know, not to cut corners over there, to do, say, the 10 reps, not to do nine, to, to push yourself and do that 10th rep and, you know, just to give you 110%. And especially off the pitch, I probably learned more off it than I did on. Um, you know, being over there on my own, other side of the world, I'm quite a family orientated man and my friends, you, you know me well enough to know that. Um, I love my friends and my family, so um, to go over there and, you know, I didn't even put, dip my toe in the water, you know, I, I jumped, jumped in head first and uh, <laughs> I just thought, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. I, w I was ready for I was ready for the challenge. And I thought you might meet a girl and settle down and relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. I didn't meet a girl over there, but um, all the boys were great towards me, really helped me over there. You know, I was a bit of a lost lost puppy in the uh, in middle of Sydney sometimes and you know the, the boys really helped me out and uh, I'll always be grateful for that and I, I keep still keep in touch with some of the lads. Could you ever see yourself back there one day maybe? I could do yeah and it wouldn't you know, I don't forget it'd have to be uh, in the NRL you know if I don't know how, how old I'll play till but it, you know if it's 33, 34, yeah, 35, 35, get over there, get country over rugby. There. Yeah country rugby I know they pay well so that's not too bad <laughs> <laughs> and um, just a lifestyle it's it's really relaxed that you know just walking you finish training and everyone's just chilled out it's just right just go for a nice feed uh, go to the beach you know it's, it's brilliant and um, I, I can definitely see myself over there but probably in the future though Late thirties, or early thirties. Mate, you've got plenty of time till that. You mentioned there the England squad, and your name's been back in that elite training squad, which is fantastic. Um, how important is that representative honour for you as a player? And obviously, you, you know, hopefully, Cass, you can settle back into that number one shirt because you had a battle to get that shirt at this club. Because, like you say, Greg Eden, Benny Roberts, some some really good fullbacks in in this club already. Well, yeah, when I when I first signed. Um, I was adamant that you know I've not got number one spot, so um, that's a first for me for a number of years. And um, you know I was well up for the challenge. I was like, right, you know, rubbing my hands together every every day at training. I was, you know, I was focused to be the best player at training, and um, that's what I tried to do. I tried to leave my mark. You know, I wanted to come in and show all the lads that I'm 110% I'm committed to this team. I want to show everyone at this club how, how good I can be in, in, in Super League as well, and. Um, you know, when I got the number one shirt, that you know, it's, it's a pat on my own back for for the work I did in training. Three season, yeah. But it's you know, it's the start, isn't it? yeah, and I, I can't I can't not have a good game because if I do, then you know, Benny Roberts can fill in, Greg Eden can fill in. You know, there's there's, there's players in all positions that can fill in. So um, I've got to be got to be at my best in in every training session at, at Casford and you know on on the pitch where where it's more more important. Mate, last question. You've been on this field many a time for Leeds. You've scored many a try. The fans are really passionate. Is that, was that one of the you swayers? When because I know you had Salford in for you. I know you had a few clubs in for you. Um, when you look at the, these people in this town, you know it really well. The local area, were the fans a big factor in you joining this club? And are you excited for the league game? Yeah, because I'm I'm quite a passionate lad. You know, I, I, as soon as I step on that pitch, I don't want to lose. So I'll fight tooth and nail to 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 get a try or to save a try or to, to get that win and. You know the fans express that on the sideline. They they don't want to lose just as much as probably I, I don't on the pitch. And um, when you've got that backing and you've got them fans screaming at you, probably the, the opposition and putting them off the game, it's fantastic. And I've been in that situation when I've played for Leeds and you're getting you're getting hounded by the fans and you know it's quite uncomfortable sometimes. But the support that you know when we played them in 2014 at Challenge Cup, I can remember coming out and obviously I'm a local lad, so I've come out the tunnel and there's all Leeds fans here. And, for a number of years, they've got a good following leads, but you know I could see the other side of all 
yellow t-shirts, yeah. orange t-shirts, Castleford Tiger shirts, and I were like, I didn't realise that there were that many people in Castleford, to be honest <laughs> with you, so uh, there, must be, there must be fans all over the shop, so yeah, and it's just how big this club can, can actually be, and you know, that's the, one of the reasons why I wanted to sign here. Mate, I wanted to put your neck on the line right now. <laughs> Will Zach Hardacre, by the end of this year, have a winner's medal in a competition for Cass? Neck on the line, it's a good one. Um, look, all I can say is I'll put my body on the line um, and do everything I possibly can to ensure that Casford do get a top four finish or do get a trophy. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do my damn best. Or both. Or both, yeah, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> mate, best luck this year. Cheers, mate, thank you. Way. Cheers, buddy. Whether it's power station, factory or stadium, covering installation or maintenance, spec the specialist power contractor to industry.